want us to skateboard on the wall. He, he would choose. Okay. Arts was formed uh, as an effort to bring a voice to the artists of Myanmar who have been bravely creating uh, amazing works during the time of uh, the censorship and isolationist years of the military regime. There's a subtlety in the visual arts that can't be um, really expressed with words. In other words, with words, one can be censored, one can be endangered. But through the arts, you can point to give that impression of your pain, your anger, in ways that um, maybe one couldn't say with words. And then there's a sedimentation of that over these last 40 years with the art. And it's almost like a historical record of the consciousness and the, the spirituality and the hearts of the people during that time a safe repository, if you will. There's an immense creative healing attribute to the arts. Um, I, I embrace that fully um, as one of the things that Yon Arts is able to do. I, ex I hope to do that more through cultural exchange and through residencies and workshops. It was very important to me, even just in the very beginning days of re-entering my country as diaspora, to go directly to the artist studios, to talk to them, to learn about their families, to understand what's really going on in their daily life. As we are now on the cusp of uh, foreign um, uh, exchange and interest in Myanmar, I believe their works will be changing very much. So we're really, really trying to harness uh, the, the works of these artists and their creative power as they're being seen today, as they've worked in the past, and as an interest in where they're going to move to the future. Welcome to Yon Arts, I am Paula Tignon.